What's up, you guys? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Layla Lynn TV. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and click the bell so that you're notified of every new episode that I post. On last night's episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Kenya Moore's elusive husband, Mark Daly, made his television debut. For those of us who follow The Real Housewives on social media, the moment was kind of anticlimactic because we had already seen him on social media. But for The Real Housewives like Sheree, Portia, and Nene, this was their first time meeting him in person. And of course, one of them had to throw a little shade. Yeah, she didn't bring him out at some time. Yeah. I mean, like, right. we really gonna right. like, okay, don't be chill, right. lying. You don't have a husband. I understand him not showing up to everybody else's stuff. Well, I really don't, but he has to be there for you. So, you know, she planned that one. All these girls have given me, well, not all, but a lot of them gave me so much grief about my husband. <laughs> it's been so difficult for us in the beginning and being newlyweds and just having all this opposition and negativity. And initially it seemed like it was really tearing us apart. And now looking back, it has really brought us closer and stronger together. So I was in the space where we're good. So if you want to come over here, I got trust me, I'm ready for you. I'm so glad to hear Kenya say that this season of The Real Housewives has brought them closer together as a couple instead of pushing them apart. To me, when Kenya first got married, it seemed to me like Mark didn't really have Kenya's back because he refused to appear on camera. But now things have completely turned around and he's showing his face on camera and even talking to the other housewives, which he really didn't have to do. Yes, as Kenya's husband, he had to support her, but he didn't have to film a scene with Sheree and he didn't have to answer her shady questions about his nose ring, but he was a trooper and he did it for Kenya. But even after the show, Sheree was still shading his nose ring. I think he was a nice guy. Sheree, what happened with his? Uh, oh, he has a nose ring. <laughs> Whatever. He has a nose ring. <laughs> I, I guess he was on Wall Street or something. I don't know. But he couldn't get it done when he wanted to get it done. But he always wanted to get his nose pier pierced. I don't know any guys who always wanted to get their, their nose, nose pierced. pierced. So I thought it was interesting. The whole story doesn't add up, so whatever. We'll just see in time. Time will tell in everything. In my opinion, Sheree is the last person that should be shading someone's husband, especially for something as petty as a nose ring. It seemed to me that she couldn't find anything else to shade him about, so she chose the smallest detail she could try to find and make it a big thing. But Twitter and even Essence Magazine thought Sheree had a lot of nerve trying to shade someone's husband when her man is in jail. Check out these tweets. Essence Magazine said Sheree is about to be on Love After Lockup. And other people brought up last week's episode where Sheree was doing glamour shots for her man in prison. This person said, is Kenya out here doing glamour shots for Mr. Daly to put on the walls of his cell? I don't think she is. Sheree has some nerve. And Kenya Moore retweeted her and said, speak on it, drag her. This person said, Sheree can't talk about nobody man being real or not. Your man is a number. Now that's who ain't real. Sheree also tried to call Kenya's husband out for only holding her hand on camera. And she said, can we say hashtag awkward, holding hands, zoom in, he's just not that into you. But Roa fans weren't feeling that either. And one fan said, not cool, Sheree. What did you expect them to do? Start humping on each other in front of everybody? Them holding hands was not an indication he wasn't into her. He was into her enough to marry her. I detect you wish he was holding your hand. Sheree must have still been salty this morning because she was still tweeting about Kenya this morning. She tweeted, Everybody seems to be so bothered by me and Tyrone. Being married to a man living another life is not a relationship either. Hashtag sweep around your own doorsteps. Your house ain't clean. I don't know what Sheree means by living another life, but I will be waiting to see. What do you think about Sheree shading Mark Daly about his nose ring and now her implying that he lives another life? Leave a comment and let me know. As always, thanks for watching.